How to be a good mother. Being a parent may be one of the most gratifying and wonderful experiences of your life, but that doesn't mean it's easy. Your labor is never finished, no matter how old your children are. To be a successful parent, you must balance making your child feel loved while also teaching them the difference between right and wrong. Even when it's difficult, simply keep trying your best to provide a supportive atmosphere in which your children may grow into confident, independent, and kind individuals. How to be a good mother, creating a loving environment. Give your youngster lots of love. Throughout your child's youth, make an effort to form a deep physical and emotional relationship with them. A kind touch or a nice remark might show your child how much you care about them. Here are some examples of methods to express love and affection. To demonstrate encouragement and appreciation, give your child a cuddle, a kiss on the cheek, a large embrace, or even just a warm touch on their shoulder. Even if you're angry with them, tell them you love them every day. Unconditional love for your children don't make them be who you want them to be in order to win your affection. Tell them you will always adore them no matter what. For example, you may wish for your child to be sporty. If they aren't interested in sports, it's vital to let them know that it's all right and to work with them to find an activity that is more suitable for their interests. Similarly, even if you're an outgoing person, don't make your child feel terrible if it takes them along to warm up to others. Place a premium on experiences rather stuff. Toys can occupy your child for a short time, but they will never make them feel loved and cared for in the same way that an attentive parent can. Make time instead to take your child to do exciting things, even something as simple as enjoying an ice cream cone in the park may build a lovely memory that will outlast any item. Even laying on the floor and reading together may be a terrific way for you and your children to bond. Recognize your children's successes. Assist your children in feeling proud of their successes and good about themselves. When they accomplish something admirable, let them know you noticed and are proud of them. They will not feel empowered to be independent or adventurous if you do not give them the confidence they need to be out in the world on their own. Be detailed in your compliments to let them know exactly what you enjoy. Instead of saying, Good job, you may say, you did fantastic taking turns with your sister while playing, or thank you for cleaning up after you played with the toys. Make a point of praising your children's achievements and good conduct above their inherent skills. This will teach kids the importance of taking on a difficult endeavor. Try to make a habit of praising your children more frequently than you offer them negative criticism. Though it is necessary to correct your children when they do something wrong, it is equally necessary to assist them in developing a good sense of self. Furthermore, if you place too much emphasis on undesirable conduct, your children may act out more to seek your attention. Avoid making comparisons between your children, especially siblings. Each child is an individual, so embrace their peculiarities. If you repeatedly compare your child to other children, he or she may believe that they will never be good enough in your eyes. It may even prevent them from achieving success in the future. Instead of comparing your children to other children, teach them how to fulfill objectives on their own terms and encourage them to take the road that works best for them. When you compare one child to their siblings, your children may develop a rivalry. Try to foster a loving, rather than a competitive, connection amongst your children. Don't exhibit preference among your children, if they're bickering, remain fair and impartial. When your children are speaking, give them your undivided attention.